We, we can see the we can see the tornado. Give us a description of where you are and where it is. Okay, Gary, we are at Indian Hills Road right now, about a mile west of I-35, looking straight west at this tornado. Uh, it formed rapidly, came straight down. Uh, it, it's a, it's turning into a fairly strong tornado at the moment. It is. Uh, there's a debris cloud on the ground with it, Gary. It's straight west of us, slightly south of straight west. This thing looks like it's moving. It's going to skirt the north side of Norman or the south side of Moore. Uh, that's what it looks like. Now, fully on the ground, Gary. Uh, the, the funnel is fully on the ground. We see it on we see it on Sky News 9. We see it on Bob Mills Sky News 9, Val. Val, we, what we need is where you are, what you're looking at, what it looks like. Yes, we are at Indian Hills Road. Go, David, go ahead. Of 35. And we're watching it straight David, go ahead. Tornado is full. All right, Gary, I'm on the, I'm on South Pennsylvania here. Look at the tornado now. Take our stream. It'll be slightly delayed. This is going to be an EF2. It's going to be about 200 yards wide. EF2, now it's growing. Yes. Wow, Gary, it's a destructive tornado. Now I'm becoming a destructive tornado. EF2. If you can take our stream, you'll see it here. We've got it. On We've it. got it. David, we have it on Sky, David, we have it on Sky News 9 HD. We have it on Bob Mills Sky News 9 HD and HD. There it is shot right yeah, there. Yeah, great. I'm, hey, I'm this, is I'm I'm this is just west of the turnpike. This is west of I-44. Okay, right. this is this is moving toward I-44. It's just a little south of Southwest 156th Street, and it's a little bit north of uh, this is in the Newcastle area, the Northeast 24. So they over get over toward Moore and Norman. It's West Franklin Road. Road. So right now it's north of Franklin Road, north of Franklin Road. You're seeing a tornado on the ground in Southwest Oklahoma City. Actually, Newcastle getting ready to move into Southwest Oklahoma City, and Moore. And this storm continues to move. It looks like east northeast, quite wrapped up as you can see. And uh, Rich, Gary, you, Rich, Val. Rich, if you could just pull back a little bit, we look like we've gone fuzzy there. Go ahead, Val. Yeah, uh, we're watching the tornado. It is getting bigger, Gary. This thing is growing. Uh, it is a stovepipe all the way to okay, the ground. Okay, Val, tell we've us. We've seen several uh, multiple vortices kind of try to form and rotate around the storm. Uh, this thing has definitely gotten stronger okay. and picked up in both sides and intensity and it looks like gary it is it is just about it, it's between franklin road and indian hills road very shortly it's going to be coming across indian hills road uh, and is almost due west of us uh, the storm is moving east northeast and okay, as yeah, let's jump in here and go let me see debris right there jim uh, uh let's go to bob mills county's nine jim go ahead Right now, right, Gary, I'm just on the north sides of Newcastle shooting back to the north, uh, northwest. You're looking at that tornado. Now, it is moving towards uh, I-44 here. And like I said, we had tons of traffic coming down I-44 moments ago. We need to get these people off. I see OHP. Right. OHP is running right up the here. road right now. He's trying to get these people cleared off. This has turned into a massive tornado. As you can see, these live pictures from Bob Mills, Sky News 9, just a humongous tornado here that is a, I'm just sitting probably just about a mile and a half uh, to the south of this tornado as it is moving towards I-44. Now, uh, right now we've seen debris in the air. We've seen it hit houses. We've saw power flashes. This is turning into a very destructive tornado and it is getting bigger by the minute, Gary. Okay. It's just uh, incredible Let me jump the shots in a, from let me Bob Mills. Now you can see the rain starting okay. to be pulled into it uh, and starting to wrap the rain. Okay. And you can see the, the cloud at the top Jim. here. It is getting broader. It is okay. even starting to lower down here. Jim, it's a huge tornado. As you stay with us here, I'm just going to give some streets. It's uh, it looks like the center of it's right over South MacArthur, South MacArthur, very close to Southwest 156th Street in Southwest Oklahoma City, a little southwest. It looks like it's crossing the river there to Southwest. That point continues to develop. It is a major tornado. So if you live, uh, this will be in for Cleveland County and McLean County. If you live. Uh, north of Indian Hills Road, north of Indian Hills Road, or north of 24th Street in Newcastle, continue the tornado precautions. And if you live, uh, let's see, if you live east of Council, that's the warning. So it's east of Council, north of Indian Hills Road. Indian Hills Road is in north sections of Norman. So this tornado is going to move across uh, to the north, toward right toward Moore. It's continuing. I see a debris ball there. And you're seeing it from uh, Bob Mills Sky News 9. This is a significant tornado in the metro, in the Oklahoma City area metro. The movement right now, about east to northeast, emergency. east northeast, at about uh, 20 program. miles per hour. Is this uh, which cam's this? That's the Newcastle exit. Look at that. That's Bob Mills Sky News Nine, right there. Okay. There, you, Jim. Jim, we can see a ton of debris in the air Go ahead, around this tornado. Just 
debris everywhere. Sure they keep in fact, we're probably going to have to back off just a little bit because we got so much see, debris. See OHP ones. is running down uh, 44. They're going to the east. It's right at the spur there where the H.E. Okay. Bailey Turnpike uh, breaks off. Uh, OHP is running. They're trying to get these cars off I-44, and it's going to cross uh, 44 here in just a matter of minutes. And it is just a, a classic, huge, wedge-shaped tornado. And you can see all the debris coming around the outside of it now. I mean, it is it has just destroyed everything that it has hit, and it is turning into a huge tornado. Look at the wedge at the bottom of that. Right now, I would estimate it is probably anywhere from a quarter to a half mile wide sitting at the bottom of that wedge right now, Gary. It's and now huge. it's getting ready to cross 44 here. Uh, this is almost taking the same path as Jim, of May 3rd, Jim. 1999. It's just a little north of that Jim. path of May 3rd, 1999 here as it tracks to the east, northeast. Okay. All right, Jim, I want to get some more streets. This thing is uh, the debris ball is about a mile wide, so the tornado itself is half mile or more. And you see it's a violent tornado. This is a tornado emergency. And it, we got power life, fire, and it's going through populated areas. My God, get, get below ground if at all possible. Yeah. Okay, this thing is moving right along, you know, right towards southwest 149th. It's moving towards southwest 149th in Portland. It's almost and there. And it's moving towards the southwest 160th. So the core of it right now is at southwest 156. Southwest 156, and it's the southwest 149th. So it's just a little bit east of MacArthur Boulevard. This is in Tower Flash. Tinker Air Force Base. Tower Flash is Okay, getting... tornado warning now issued for Tinker Air Force Base. Tornado Moving warning slowly. for Tinker Air Force Base. Take your immediate tornado precautions. And as you look at all this, this is a major tornado in the metro again. It uh, is a life threatening tornado. So the precautions are, you know, uh, below ground is best, and that's a storm shelter, a Look cellar, a basement. We've got people talking over each other. So this, now it looks, it's slow just a little bit if you look right there. It's just a slow little bit, but it's, uh, that gives it more time to organize. It's a giant tornado. Safety precautions are below ground's best. If you don't have that, you get in a well-constructed building or you get in the center part of your house, closet or bathroom, put many walls between you and the tornado as possible. Go ahead. So, Tinker, you guys in Tinker, if it maintains itself, 341. Tinker Air Force Base, 341. So I'm going to read these off. Uh, let's go south, south 164th is just about on that right now. This is a huge, huge, deadly tornado. North 12th and Western, North 27th and Western, that would be Edmond. That would be Moore. That'd be Moore. 319 will be in Moore. Tinker Air Force Base, 341. And so, Moore, you got Moore's in the bullseye. So I'm going to give, uh, as we look at the shots there, we can see it. Who's got it there? Mar is that Marty's got a great shot of it, too? Val, Val and Marty. We yeah. Need, we, there may be a second tornado. We need to check with Val. Okay. There could be another okay. tornado. Get on the phone, call him. Get on the phone, talk to him on the getter. Okay. Uh, this, uh, once again, it, the, sp the speed Val? is not very fast, so which is uh, good okay. and bad. Hey, we but, have uh, tornadoes, Gary. We need to talk to uh, Val. And get uh, well, get him, get him on there. Okay. Shut up, Val? Go ahead, Val. Where's the other tornado? We have a huge debris ball on this storm now, right up as it's, as it's crossing I-44. Huge debris ball, and it is uh, right at southwest 104. Let me see. It's just south of 134, southwest 134th, and it's just west of a southwest 149th. Take your precautions immediately, and that means get below ground if you possibly can. Southwest 160th. Dave, uh, Val, go ahead. Yes, Gary, we are on southwest 34th Street. And this tornado is to our west, northwest. It is a giant tornado, just like you said earlier. This is a huge tornado, every bit as big as the May 3rd tornado, Gary. Val, we, and, can, we can see the tornado. We just need where, where you're looking, where it's headed, and this type of thing. That's right. Uh, inflow where we're at is really, really picking up. This thing has just tremendous inflow. Have pull back again on that shot a little bit. It is the tornado sirens are blaring out here. The tornado is gotten larger, as you can see. Violent rotation around this tornado. Uh, this is a this is a deadly thing, Gary. This is very very dangerous. And significant. And, and I can see uh, debris being spread out ahead of the tornado, all, all around the tornado, ahead of the tornado for two miles. I can see debris being spread out. Val, let me come back up here. And this is a. Okay, Jim uh, Jim Gardner and Bob Mills Sky News 9. Uh, we see this huge tornado, and I'll tell you, far from our vantage point here, it's moving right along southwest 149th. That's the core of it. 
So it's it's South Portland Avenue, very close to Southwest 134th Street, taking immediate tornado precautions. It's Southwest 149th, and it is uh, South Portland Avenue, taking immediate tornado precautions. And it's going to be moving up toward 100 Southwest 134th Street. We've got power flashes. It's going through populated areas, obviously. Uh, this is a this is a major tornado. Here's uh, here's a new projection on it. This right along well, it's right along 37. And what is that right there? That's the south south 164th at 314. Yes. And in and in Moore, it's north 12th and western, and at 317, north 27th and western. Downtown Moore, downtown Moore, right on Interstate 35, 322, Tinker Air Force Base 343, Stanley Draper 345. Right now, should go a little south of Dell City, but there's never any guarantees on this. Giant tornado continues. Giant tornado continues. What? We take Pathfinder full. We can't read the the time of arrivals on the Pathfinder. We just need to take it full here for a moment, if we could. Just quick, very Thank quickly. You. There it is. You guys can see it there. It's going to stay south of downtown, Gary. It's okay. going to stay maybe. It looks okay. like just All south right. of Crossroads. Go back to go back to shot. Go back to shot. We're just going. To, there's a shot right. Look at David's shot. Take. Uh, can we get a two box? Well, with David's shot in there too. Can we get David on? David, you're very close to the tornado. Looks like it's just what. I'll get him on there. Southwest 149th. And David is right on Southwest 149th. Robin Tom are right there. They got it. You can talk to them. Where's their video? You can talk to them. Where's their video? Right here. Storm Action okay. 6. Uh, we're checking Storm Action 6. There, too. And when we look at those two shots, a huge tornado. Gary. Tom, go ahead, guys. Yes, Gary. Uh, we're on uh, the tornado's right on 149th Street. It's three quarters of a mile straight west of us. Uh, we are right now are one half mile south of 149th Street. Uh, I've seen uh, just dozens of power flashes to my west. Uh, the tornado is still coming. It's moving east northeast. I just see violent rotation with this thing. It's three quarters of a mile or so straight west northwest of us. It's on 140. I appreciate that report. Uh, David's right there by when we get David on. And we can still see on the uh, sky, Bob, Bob Mills Sky News 9, huge tornado in the metro area. Deadly tornado. You should take immediate tornado precautions and use this. That is, uh, we have a huge debris ball that's showing up now, but we'll just keep the video up there. That means houses and trees in the air, unfortunately. And it's uh, moving east, northeast, 20 miles per hour. Dave is just to the west of it. It's right on south. Just to the west. I think he might be a little bit close. Hope he gets away from that. We just come back this way a little bit. I see on, is that Marty's shot? Number six? That is Tom and Rob's shot. We got it in there. Tom and Rob's shot along with it. Give me two box helicopter. And Tom, there it is. Tom and Rob's shot there on the left. Gary, it's in between Portland and May, right on Southwest 149. Okay. On Moore, you can see the debris ball. Okay. Southwest 149, directly okay. between Portland and May. Anybody who lives east Big and northeast ball. of that location, prepare for a violent tornado right now on the west side of Moore. Loop one of those things over there, will you? Yes. The velocity is on Doppler radar, which gives us the wind speeds are, are extremely strong. So this is moving at this time eastward along southwest 149th Street. You guys, uh, West Moore, Southwest Oklahoma City, Moore, make sure you call your friends, you tweet them, you uh, Facebook them, you, what, however you want to do it. Get a hold of them, folks in and around the Moore area and points on to the uh, north and east. So uh, it, northeast at 20. Yeah, north, well, that's the, they had an east at 20 just a minute ago. So it looks like to me it's still moving primarily east. Right along uh, Southwest 149. Take Storm Shell for a loop for a moment. That'll give you an idea. Uh, okay. It's, it's kind of curling up in there. Yeah, shoved east, then northeast. Okay. Go back to the, go back to the live shots, guys. Sky, uh, Bob Mills, Sky News 9. Jim Gardner. Talk to us. Yeah, Gary, right now that's still a massive tornado here. And, and of course, it's getting hard to see. And that's not just from rain. That's from all the debris that is now circulating with that tornado. And you can see the wedge at the bottom, Gary. It's just a massive wedge. As we come around here, we're getting a little bit more in front of it. You can start to see through some of that debris that is circling that. And I can tell you that from a quarter of a mile behind it, and a quarter mile to the sides, we are having power flashes, so there's a tremendous amount of wind out in front of this thing before the tornado even gets there. So again, uh, you know, we'll just keep tracking it, Gary. We got our trackers on the ground. I'm just going to let them talk because they got better uh, pinpoint uh, streets exactly where they are. But uh, right now, we're just south of it. I'm just staying about a mile and a half to the south of it, Gary, just slowly moving with it. 
you know, and I'm hoping that at some point this thing decides to really come up off the ground before it reaches the okay. Westmore. It looks like maybe back. taking a track right towards the Westmore High School in that area. Look at, look and so it hopes it dissipates here right and there. gets off the ground before it really moves in there because yelling? it has already out. caused a lot of damage. Okay. You can see at the very bottom of it, David. brown. Sorry, David, on there. Hey, I'm in, hey. I'm at Southwest 134th and 10. It's just south. It's just south of 134th, and it's crossing 10 right now. It's doing total destruction to every house down here. I'm seeing homes completely leveled. Houses are disappearing right in front of us. It's right here, Gary. It's, now it's, a, it's an EF4, maybe an EF5. It's getting ready to cross Pennsylvania south of 134th. South of 134th. It's crossing right now about a half mile south, Gary. It's a quarter mile wide wedge. Take our screen. Take our screen. Turn this around. Turn that camera around. Okay, you got our screen, Gary. Got We're it. talking to 7 Eleven. The debris is unbelievable. Violent, violent. Gary, Gary. take out Stewart's home. I believe. Yeah, I love it. There goes another house. Okay, Val, go ahead. Yes, Gary, this thing is on 149th Street. It's right in front of us. It is tearing up every it hits. The, the, the sky is absolutely full of debris. Gary, I see boards. I see roofs of houses. I see tin. Everything is flying through the air. We're getting probably 80 mile an hour winds at our location. This thing is a quarter of a mile north of us. It's on 149th, and Gary, it is moving straight east right along 149th Street. Yeah, Man, yeah. if you live there. And that means 19th Street and more, Southwest 19th yeah, Street yeah. and more. Uh, Val, check your GPS. Check your GPS. It's gone off. There is just a uh, ton of shots right there. I see all different. Colin Rob, that pull back just a little bit. There's Gary. Val shot too. Take Val shot in there too. You guys, you can alternate these shots, guys. Which one do you think's the best? Okay. Gary, there's, there's houses in the air here. I there, know. This is serious, I Gary. Know. This is passing over a large uh, power line here. Large power lines. The air is full of debris. I don't know. We're getting actually getting hit by debris here. Uh, it is just a quarter of a mile to our north. This is. This is a violent, deadly, deadly tornado, Gary. Please take cover if you're in the path of this thing. Okay, the court right now is going through uh, Southwest 140th Street, uh, Jamie Drive. I've heard these before. Foreman Drive, and it's moving right toward uh, Southwest 140. So it's going right now. It's it's moving a little. Uh, let's call it east northeast. And right now it's just a hair east of May. So it's a little east of May now. East of May, and it is uh, phew, right in those areas I was just mentioning. Next north-south road is Pennsylvania, so it's going to be Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania Southwest 134th, Pennsylvania Southwest 134th. I see David Payne and and Val. If you're monitoring Val, uh, turn on your GPS. Go ahead. Okay, Gary. Uh, we're at Western and uh, we're starting Western. Uh, 134th and Western. It's about ready to cross Western here from the southwest. You can take our stream. It's right in front of us. The tornado is a very very violent tornado. Like Val said, this is May 3rd. 1999, all over again, and it's almost going down the same street that it did before. Okay, Gary, look at our street. My goodness, this is an extremely violent, this is a killer tornado. Now, like you said earlier, if you're not below ground, you will not survive this tornado, Gary, yeah. if you have a safe room. This okay. is a killer tornado. The motion is amazing. Thanks. Look at the motion here, Gary. It's crossing western. Oh my it's about God. 30 yards west of western, Gary. It's moving more easterly than northeasterly now, but barely, okay? Okay. Large and violent tornado crossing western right now. I'm at 134th. It's a half mile south of me. EF4, possibly the EF5. Absolutely amazing. Gary, back to you. Okay, it's right on southwest 19th in the Moor, uh, coming across uh, western. And, of course, that means it's going to be moving by uh, Santa Fe Ave Avenue. This is one mile from Santa Fe. And it is uh, two miles from... A little over two miles, my 35. So, uh, once again, right now it appears it's going to be north. This is in Moore, Southwest 34th Street. Southwest 34th Street. It's a little bit north of there, and it's still a little bit to the south, and, and it's approaching Southeast 4th Street uh, in Moore. So this thing is going right through West Moore, Southwest Moore. Looks like it's headed toward downtown Moore. It may have occluded a bit, but we still have a huge debris ball along Southwest 149th Street, and this is. Uh, I can't see. Can you guys? Uh, maybe my monitor. I can't see much from the Sky News Nine. Bob in Sky News Nine. Can you see anything there? It looks like the whole thing's on the ground. Uh, the so much haze. Okay. So huge, huge, uh, huge uh, debris ball. I tell you what. Coming just a second. The shots are not that good at this moment. You folks, the path. This this thing is in more. More is just south of the Oklahoma City area. It's moving east northeast at twenty. Sometimes the, the direction varies a little bit. 
but uh, you may take your tornado precautions. That means you need to be below ground if at all possible. If you can't do that, uh, if you can't do that, you stay in the center part of your house, closet, or bathroom, helmet, goggles, that type of thing, and stay there. And unfortunately, you'll have to ride this storm out. It's uh, still uh, moving toward the Tinker Air Force Base area uh, with uh, also Stanley Draper. It's right on southwest 149th. And you might take a, a quick look. Can you move up a little bit, Mike, so we just look at this? What you want to center, center it right there? Yeah. I'll read off more three, downtown more 322, Tinker 344. And I'll tell you, if you, look, if you look at uh, very quickly at Pathfinder, uh, Pathfinder that white area right down there in the middle of it, right down to the southwest point, that's a huge debris ball. That's houses and trees and Bob such. Bob Mills Sky News 9 HD. Bob Mills Sky News 9 Gary, can you hear me? Go ahead. Okay, I believe that's Santa Fe right there. They got is a log jam. It's a log jam right there. Now, this tornado is only about a quarter mile west of that road right there, and it's just log jammed right in there. Those people need to get out of there. They need to keep traffic moving. They need to get them out of there. Right now, I'm just moving. I'm just about uh, a half mile to the west of I-35, shooting back to the north, and I believe that's Santa Fe. You can correct me if I'm wrong, Gary. Santa Fe, but right now, I'm having GPS problems up here also because we've got so much electrical uh, storms going on right here, the, out in the uh, north of this. Right. I mean, I'm just looking at the uh, uh, cross uh, the tornado, east of I-35. Okay, it's coming right on. Pelted with lightning back. Okay, it's coming, uh, you guys. If you, man, it's it's there. It's it's just basically coming in on on Santa Fe Avenue and more. Uh, you know, if you people uh, see a large building nearby, because it looks like the traffic is jammed in there, this tornado is moving right towards Santa Fe. In fact, it's almost there. Uh, the southern edge of it appears to be southwest 19th, maybe a little south because it's huge. It's huge. So expect uh, tornadic winds, uh, maybe a little more south than southwest 19th. But once again, it's in more southwest 19th. And it's uh, it's part of it. Yeah, go ahead. It's part of it. It's right now on Santa Fe Avenue. And uh, I was mentioning some of these other ones. It's on Harvey Avenue. So if you're trying to go south or north on Santa Fe in the Moore area, figure another way to go. Get the heck out of there. Go north. Turn around and go north if you're uh, north of the Moore area. If you're in the south of the Moore area, turn south. So same thing. Get people. I hope they block it off. It's moving right toward Interstate 35 also. Uh, power line flashes, you can see there, big time power line flashes. This is a critical situation. Very dangerous. Do not get caught in your car in this. But keep in mind, uh, beneath an overpass or underpass is not a good idea because the winds will increase. The movement seems to painfully slow on this. You agree, Mike? Yeah, it's, it's crawling. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just moving all. incredibly slow right now, Gary. And go ahead. David, go ahead, David. No, I just said David I don't totally agree with you, Gary. It's moving maybe 15, 20 miles per hour, maybe. It's really, really slowed down, but then it accelerates. I agree. I want to point this out. It's becoming wrapped in rain. The visibility is a lot less, and obviously debris, all the debris in the air too. But it's also becoming wrapped in rain plus debris. It, it, we can still see it because it's so big, but it's becoming a lot harder to see now as it's approaching I-35. I'm at I-35. I look at southbound, Gary, and it's just a monster. It's a half mile, every bit of a half mile, and again, probably the EF4, possibly even stronger. Killer well, what are the here. messages you're coming across here, the sirens? Okay. Wow, look at that. Okay, this is right. Right now, it's uh, part of the damage is, is occurring right along 19th Street and more. It's occurring on uh, Penn Lane. It's occurring in Cardian Place. So right now... It's a square, at least a square mile. It's huge. Hey, see if Jim can fly yeah, it to the is, northeast about five it miles. It is, uh, to the west. it's just Rather crawling to the yeah. east. And there's some good and some bad about that, but it's doing terrible damage in that part of the world there. Yeah, yeah, let me good. say, uh, down at Santa Fe that Jim was showing us, there are power lines down on Santa Fe, and we're hearing that those may be students leaving from the high school down there at Westmore. Hey, so, Kelly, also, I want to miss, we have a uh, tornado three miles east of Bray, Oklahoma, down south, south. folks down there. There's a shot right there, Kelly, uh, that's uh, that's in Moore, and that's David's shot. Wow. And I can tell you right now, David is right on Interstate 35, and uh, he's on uh, Northeast 12th in Moore. And it's just that's two miles, that's two miles south of the Oklahoma County line. This thing is just plowing through more. We're going to go right through downtown more, right across Interstate 35. So if you're coming up along Interstate 35 from the south, you're in the Norman area, stop. If you're in Oklahoma City coming south, uh, if you're, say, north of I-240, stop. Uh, it's, it's Get off of it. Uh, if you're in I, uh, Let's say if you're in Interstate 35 and you get to 240, you can go west. would probably be a, a good idea. It's a lot of rain and hail. But this thing is crawling along. 
It looks like it's doing some great damage. The, what we call a debris ball is huge. David, go ahead. All right, Gary, again, uh, we're at 134 and I-35 looking down, and the back exit the tornado is not right by 35 yet. I can still see the front lip, but uh, you, can, you can see our stream here, absolutely how amazing, and uh, it, it, it's amazing. It's every bit of a half mile, maybe a mile wide, and uh, it, it, it's about ready to cross I-35. I'm at 134 in more, looking off to my south at this monster, at this absolutely killer tornado. Uh, the good thing about it, I've seen troopers going up I-35, so there's hardly any traffic on I-35 right now. I'm just seeing state troopers and emergency units on I-35, so there's some good news here. But if you live in a residential area, you're at the head of this thing, you've got to go below ground. This is a killer, killer tornado. We have debris being thrown out everywhere on the head of this thing, and this is a, another deadly tornado coming through more. It's just it's amazing that it's happening again, Gary, but it is. Again, if you're looking southbound, down I-35 from our stream, and uh, the tornado continues. It continues to motion. It's very fast. It's very violent. And, uh, again, Gary, it's completely wrapped up in rain and debris. It's a big, dark, black area of debris and rain rotating from left to right with huge, huge chunks of debris coming out of the sky, not coming into more. Gary, back to you. Okay. It's uh, moved a little to the north edge of the tornado. It's moved a little north of 134th Street. This would be south 134th Street. That would be Oklahoma City notation, even though it's in Moore. And so it's, it's right up. Uh, it is uh, West Moore, downtown Moore. Moving into eastern Moore, southern, southern sections of Moore, it is uh, along 149th Street with respect to the Oklahoma City notation as far as in, in uh, the... Gary? Yeah, go ahead. If I can point something out, I think, call me crazy, but I think on this tornado, it, it looks like it might be beginning to shrink. I can see a little bit of it, and it looks like I might have a new meso forming on the north side. I'm looking at a new area of rotation to the northeast of that tornado. I've got a big new area of rotation that looks absolutely amazing, which is on, it's just down to 134, so this thing may be trying to cycle right now. And uh, again, I'm at Broadway, 134th and more, and it looks like it's trying to cycle, Gary, as it, uh, as it continues to move to the Northeast. I, mean, I, don't, I think that's what's going on with it. I'm not saying that for sure, but it sure looks like it to be at this point. Gary, back to you. Okay, appreciate that. Hey, jump in anytime here. Yeah, it's it, that the main circulation we had is occluded. It's going to be kind of swept in on itself, so to speak, folks. Uh, still probably on the, the still probably doing damage on the ground, but it'll weaken a little bit. It looks like with this type of cell, just like yesterday, it will cycle. It will produce another uh, rotation, strong rotation, another tornado, and uh, so do not uh, do not let your guard down at all. It's moving east at twenty. And it's in the Moore area, and obviously has done a lot of dam damage. We've seen a lot of power line flashes and such. And uh, I see on David's video, and David is on uh, Spot Street, and David is David is on Pole Road or close to Pole Road. Get that on there. Put the debris on the sky, yeah. yeah, goodness gracious. Put all the debris out. So it's uh, it, the warning area. The the danger area now is we'll call it uh, east of Western. It's east of Western. East of Western, it is a little cautious here. We we'll call it. We we'll call it north of southeast 164th. Northeast 164th. We we'll call it south 164th. So it's uh, north of that, and it's just a little bit. We we'll call it east of. Uh, now let's move east of Santa Fe now. So it's east of Santa Fe, north of uh, 164th. Uh, the movement is slowed again. It looks like it may be reorganizing. Look, there's some uh, some weakening with it a little bit. What do you have? Uh, velocities are still there, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Right. right. So yeah, I, there may be still a tornado wrapped in the rain. Got to be. So it's we're not seeing any power line plays. At least I haven't been. There's but, uh, tremendous damage right now. We're seeing on our. On our Guys, that, that damage is being uh, brought to us from Southwest 119th and Western. I'm telling you, down from 134th and Santa Fe and all through that area south, uh, north of there, uh, it is, a, it is a, just a disaster area, it sounds like. They're trying to set up command posts, and they're still tracking it. They're saying debris at 4th and Broadway and more now. And, uh, but it's, it's so similar to what happened on May 3rd. It, the damage looks the same. Okay, this so, is uh, in Moore. It's moving towards Stanley Draper all across the northern uh, sections of Cleveland County. Uh, it may miss you guys in Tinker, but it still may turn up that way, so stay alert in the Tinker area. Where you see that, uh, where you, at least where you saw that big circulation. As you look at all this, I'm just going to tell you what we're seeing out there in times of arrivals. Sir. Okay. Here you go. It's uh, Stanley Draper 353, Stella 422, Nuala 
439 and Hera 445. Oh, there's the tornado. Oh, oh man, it's still there. <sighs> man. All right, uh, Bob Mills Scott News 9. Jim Gardner, go ahead. Well, I've moved around here a little more to the northeast. I'm about uh, two, three miles uh, southwest of Lake Draper there, shooting back. I uh, got a little bit better look at it. You see it's just still a massive, massive tornadoes. You can see all the power flashes coming off at the bottom of it there. It is still causing major damage here. And like I said, I'm about uh, three miles to the southwest of Draper, shooting back to the northwest, looking at that tornado as it comes through more here. And you can just see all the power flashes. Yeah, it... Uh, it it uh, included wrapped up on itself, but now it looks like it's intensifying again. Now, the upper wind speeds have not changed. It, it made a, a jog there. It is into east sections of Morse, East Main Street, Smoking Oak Circle, Avery Drive, Southeast 8th, and I think the schools are right in that. Right, Some big right schools now. right in there. Northeast 5th. Gary, Go ahead. Okay, Gary's crossing Southeast Bryant right now. I'm at... I'm at uh, We got you located on radar here. You're a little bit to the northeast of it, so you have really a good shot of it there. So yeah, actually, the, 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 the tornado now is to my south southeast. Okay. You can see my south southeast moving, moving east. Okay. Holy moly. And Gary, I still think the new, walk, the new, the new uh, updraft is developing now, and we're going to have another tornado that's going to be at a different spot. So it's developing to your east? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's to the northeast of the tornado right now. There's a new area that's really starting to turn. Close to the intersection. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. Okay, still moving in. Still okay. a large tornado on the ground, but the new area circulation is getting stronger. South 134th, south 134th. It's right at south 134th. It's actually it's between southeast, uh, south 119th, southeast 119th, and southeast 134th. And it's right, it's right over Bryant Avenue, and it's moving toward Sunny Lane Road. So that's the little box, and you box it in. Now let me put those down there. And the debris ball is a little bit smaller, so this thing will most likely reorganize and uh, reform and redevelop a little bit to the east, or this may just continue. It's still a major tornado right now, and we're looking at it with live radar, and it's... Uh, Gary's a lot smaller. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, look at the power line flashes. Yeah. I was going through the neighborhood, Gary. There's a lot of big chunks of debris in the air. A lot yeah, of big chunks right. of debris in the air. Those are home. Look at it. There it is. There it's going it is. through home. It's still very violent, but like you said, it's just a lot smaller than it was. Oh my gosh, There's look at the motion. Look at the motion. Of, yeah, I'm down on the ground. Hey, I can hey, still it's a gigantic circulation. Tornado's still on the ground. It's moving on southeast 119th and southeast 134th. It's uh, right over Bryant. Go ahead. It, it just crossed Sunny Lane. It just crossed Sunny Lane. Let's go. And I'm in 100, Southeast Hunter Fork. It just crossed Sunny Lane. Still moving east. It's just south to me, about a half mile. Okay, it just plowed through Elgin Street, Northeast 7th, Hilltop Drive, Wheaton's uh, Court. It is, uh, boy, it's a slow mover right now. What did we put on there? 15 mile an hour? Yes. 15 mile an hour. So it's weakened a little bit. We still have a debris, debris ball from uh, from Bob Mills Sky News 9. We still see a very dangerous tornado. Very dangerous tornado. And there may be another one developed from this, or this one just may maintain itself the way it looks, you guys. It, it's moving toward the, that's, that's, that's Draper Lake right there. So if you know people are out at Draper Lake or have houses out there, you know, people in, the, in advance of this particular tornado, call them, uh, tweet them, Facebook, however you get a hold of them, let them know this thing is coming. It is, uh, there it is, not as big as it was, but these storms cycle, and it's still extremely dangerous. It is moving right now, right towards Sooner Road. So it's going to be uh, crossing Sooner Lake, Sooner Road before long. Gary, I'm at Sooner Road right now. Okay. I'm at Sooner Road, and you can look at our stream. It's just southwest of Sooner Road. I'm turning right. Headed down Sooner. I'm going to get a little closer to it here. Look at the motion, Gary. Boy, this thing is really moving east. Here's the mile from. It's front. trying to pick up a little speed, Gary. Think so? Okay. Yeah, the, I think so. The debris I think, balls, I think so. The, the uh, debris ball is increasing in size again. That means trees and houses and such. And it's moving right along Country Lane. It's affecting uh, Payton Street, Northeast 7th, 
So if you, right now it appears the danger is north. Bob Mill Scott, who's nine, do you copy me? Go ahead. Go ahead, Bob. Yeah, it's gotten a lot bigger. It cycled back up. Now it's getting a bigger wedge on it now. But just look at that, uh, all the debris around that thing, and we're watching it. And we got power flashes well to maybe a quarter to a half mile all the way around this tornado. So what I'm talking about is where you see the wedge on the ground, we're seeing power flashes a quarter to a half mile out around from that wedge. So there's tremendous, tremendous amount of wind set, set up in this push down thrust. See, there's a power flash right there way behind it. So there's just a tremendous amount of wind. And it's cycled back up, Gary, from this picture shot from Bob Mill, Scott, who's nine. You can see it. It has grown again. It, for a minute there, it looked like it was going to decrease, maybe get lucky here. And, but now it has just grown into a massive tornado again. Guys, as you're tracking this, we got to tell you, a school down in Moore, we know the school in Moore has been hit, an elementary school. We believe it is Briarwood Elementary School. That's the word we're getting. That's going to be on Southwest 149th and Westmore, which is in between Santa Fe and Western. Our Michael Konoposik is there, and we understand. He says there is extensive damage. We're also getting word that some kids may be trapped. Okay, this is the initial reports we're getting there, Briarwood Elementary. As soon as we get our st shot established, Michael Konoposik, we'll go out to him. I just heard Oklahoma City Police in South Oklahoma City say they're at 149th and May Avenue and everything south of there is damaged or leveled up and down them. May Avenue. So, Gary, a tremendous amount of damage. Uh, there are going to be a lot of injuries. We hear people going to the hospital in private vehicles. Tornado's still on the ground. We'll go back to Michael in a minute. Let's get back over to Gary and Michael Armstrong right now for the update on the tornado right now. Uh, it's continuing Right now, the main core, the circulation, it's a mile across, at least on the debris, uh, from 134th Street up to 119th Street. It's crossing over uh, Sooner Road right now, soon be crossing over Air Depot. It's uh, moving directly toward Draper Lake and southeastern sections of Oklahoma County. Let me move over here and I'll see very quickly. Hold on a second here. Let's see. Tinker, uh, if, it doesn't, uh, if it doesn't turn due north, you may be fine in Tinker. It's headed toward Draper Lake. That's the blue area over to the right. Which came from, but uh, let's do a quick check-in. with. And this is going to last about 10 seconds. Mike Armstrong on the south storm down okay. near Paul's Valley. Go ahead. Okay, Gary. Uh, on the south storm, it uh, looks like this will be moving into Garvin County. We do have uh, a rain wrap tornado reported three miles east of Bray. That's going to be moving east or east-northeast up toward Paul's Valley. Could be in the Paul's Valley area by 5 p.m. So do not be on I-35 by 5 p.m. down down near the Pauls Valley area is another tornadic supercell that's in progress across northeastern parts of Comanche County, moving into Garvin County. Gary? All right. Uh, if you're going east on I-240, if you're in the western part of Oklahoma City, Oklahoma County, and if you're, say, west of, west of Center Road, don't go, don't go east on I-240. Because it's, going to, it's probably going to hit it or hit that 40 over there in southeastern Oklahoma County. Right now... We're going to have to go back north to drip the lake. Leading edge of this, it looks like it's weakened there a little bit. The smaller sometimes the speeds actually increase when it gets smaller. But uh, the, it's moving towards south Midwest Boulevard. And it's right we're, we're going to cut east at 25, so it made a little, it's a little east-northeast. So it's going, it's, it's approaching Midwest, Midwest Boulevard and southeast 104th. Midwest Boulevard and southeast 104th. So it's been a long track storm. It's uh, changed in size. There is uh, Bob Mill Sky News 9. Jim, go ahead. Well, Gary, right now I would estimate it's only probably about a mile to a mile and a half west of uh, Draper here. It's, it's kind of slowed up, and it's gotten a lot thinner here. Now let's hope that this dissipates here, but uh, as again... It, uh, it's done it before. It's gotten really small, and all of a sudden it's just swelled up into another tremendous tornado. Uh, there's so much debris around this thing. It's just unbelievable. But right now, it almost appears to be stationary, Gary. It almost appears to stop moving where it is, and it's just kind of sitting there. Like I said, it's uh, probably about a mile and a half to the west it, of it, Lake Draper right now, and then it's all, all of a sudden it's just kind of like stopped in this spot right here. Now it's getting very thin. You can see the, the needle at the bottom there. Uh, Let's hope that this uh, this dissipates here, but it's already caused no telling how many hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of damage. Let's just hope that we don't have any lives lost. You can see it roping out, Gary. Yep. Hopefully this is the end of this ordeal right here before, but, you know, with most of these this big, it could very easily cycle back up and drop another tornado. I think but you're going to get like one another one over to the right, Jim. Just about a mile and a half, maybe two miles west of Lake Draper there. It's totally roping out at this time, Gary. Jim, appreciate that. There it is, weakening right there. 
Still doing damage on the ground at yeah. that particular point. point. Uh, it's moving toward Draper Lake. Probably going to get another tornado to the right of this one. Is Gary, it? we think that video on the left is Briarwood Elementary, which Where's is that? at 134th near Robinson. It's kind of by Santa Fe. There are children trapped, children hurt there. And I heard a police officer in South Oakland from South Oklahoma City say over the scanner, everything to the south of here is obliterated. There's a neighborhood to the south of there at Southwest 134th and Robinson, Harvey area. This is on the uh, southwest side of Moore. All the homes down there in one neighborhood, he said, are just wiped out. He said the so whole it, neighborhood is wiped out. It is, it's a terrible situation. It is very reminiscent of what we saw May 3rd, 1999. We didn't think we'd see another one of these, certainly not so soon. And it's a, turning into a nightmare scenario. This tornado that touched down at 252 uh, down around Newcastle and has tracked across southwest Oklahoma City's Moore area. Now into the uh, mid Dell area, it's just uh, terrible. Let's go back over to Gary real quick. I want to say a message to Jim. Jim, that looks like a new wall cloud.